All right, guys, so you want to go to lightloader.com, and the link is in the description. Click on download on this side, and down here underneath, you'll see development builds, and click here. And then at the very top, you want lightloader install. The uh, .execute is what you want, so you want to click on that and then save it. Then you want to go to Zom's Mod Pack. And again, the link is in the description. Go to the last page, and you're going to look for the latest update. And as of this video, scroll down on page 601, and you'll see where the developer, the, the developer that is working on it, Zero, uh, has quoted to me. Uh, I've been kind of working with him on the Reach mod, and uh, he has an update right here. This is one, the latest one you want to click on. Again, search further in the forum if it's further down the road in the future when you're watching this. Click on download and save the latest mod Zom Light. All right, these are the two files that you should have once you download them. You're going to go to run percent app data percent. Click OK. Go to your dot Minecraft and look under your versions and make sure you have a 1.8 if not you'll need to load the game and run it and get yourself one click on light loader and run it and the installation comes up make sure it says install light loader 1.8 uh, is extended from and the new profile is light loader click OK it'll say successfully loaded and you'll see a new version 1.8 light loader you're gonna go back to your dot minecraft and you create a new folder and make it mods, M-O-D-S, lowercase. Click on mods, and inside create a new folder, 1.8. And inside of the 1.8 folder, this is where you're going to put your light loader for the ZOMs, or the ZOM file, rather. Close everything up. You can throw out the light loader, execute. You don't need that anymore. Start your game up and check and make sure that everything is working. All right, in your launcher, You'll have a new profile, it's Light Loader 1.8, click on that and just make sure everything in the profile is correct and it should be when you click on Edit Profile. Profile name, you can change it to whatever you want, I suggest just leaving it Light Loader 1.8 and then it says Use Version Release 1.8 Light Loader and then cancel that out. Go ahead and click Play and start your game. Alright, from the main screen in the upper right hand corner you'll see this if you hover your mouse over it, pulls out and it says Zom's Light Version and then the version you're running in it says Active and that just shows you that the installation is okay. Let's go ahead and start the game and take a look at Zom's Mod Pack. All right, well, once you get in game, I've jumped over to my big computer here because it would lag entirely too much on my laptop. So anyways, I'm in one of my test worlds, so I can show this to you. Uh, you're going to press the F7 key on your keyboard, and you'll see over on the left-hand side. Now, the, the main ones that people use is the Fly Mod, and of course, this is the, uh, the Range Mod is what we're going to be using. Uh, the Fly Mod, by default, for some reason in this latest build, is already active. Um, so if you hold down the space key, you automatically start flying up and down. You can see how we stop um, instantly, whereas normal fly mode, you'll coast a little bit. If you don't like that, whoops, you'll hit F7. We're going to go back to fly mod. And right here, disable creative swim. Uh, basically, that's the floating that you get uh, with the default creative fly. So you can put that on false, go back to game, and now you'll see... I'll coast a little bit and then I can double tap and I can fall back to the ground uh, with Zom's mod pack that takes all that away so for builders it's nice I like it because you can be a little more accurate uh, and you don't have to worry about running into things when you're trying to set blocks uh, but anyways that's just uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out right in the beginning um, one of the things in this particular build by default that shows up don't think your fly is messed up you'll have to go in there and, and uh, disable it uh, and put it back to the way it was again fly mod and then right here so false is just like your regular creative true and then there's other things here where you can bind your keys if you do like the fly mod um, your different fly values how fast you fly and things like that um, it is really nice uh, in the original Zom's uh, mod pack you had no clipping where you could actually fly through the walls uh, which is really cool and hopefully he will add that at a future point uh, also too I know there is a uh, or highlighter so if you're using this in survivor mode you can uh, highlight ores but any, anyways we're going to be looking at the range mod is what we're looking at is the toggle reach place and the toggle reach break you want to make sure that both of those are true so you're just going to click on them when you by default when you open it up they both say false you're going to click on them and make them both true uh, the toggle marker uh, basically if you put that on true you can see here in the background it creates a pink block wherever you look so when you go to place your blocks 
it's going to place where that pink block is. I personally find that annoying. Um, you can try it and use it if you want to. Um, I like to use my crosshairs. It seems to work a lot better. Uh, so I put that back to false. Show info. Uh, I haven't even checked this out yet. Basically, it tells you what your reach is up there in the left-hand corner. I've got mine set to 40. Uh, so let's go back to range mod, and I don't really want that on. Uh, info pause up left. Again, that's what corner you want it to show up at. Uh, enable place key, period. Enable break key, minus. So basically, you can toggle it on and off uh, with key bindings. And then your range all the way from, I think, 0 up to 100. Yes, up to 100. I really wouldn't advise going to 100 uh, just because it's going to get to a point where you're not even going to see it. Uh, I've used uh, Zom's mod pack for probably about three and a half almost four years now and i've always had my range right around 40 works really really good for me um and then drop blocks false uh basically if you smash out the blocks it'll drop them all over the ground if you have it at true and then remove from inventory you also want that set to false because if not they'll start piling up inside the inventory um and then or that's this one here add to inventory so remove from inventory at faults uh, so anyways enable pickup key multiply and then toggle reach pickup true this is so that you can hit click your middle mouse button or whatever you're using to select um different materials from a distance away and that's pretty much everything that you need to know all right so from this distance i just cleared my inventory real quick so i can show you if i uh middle mouse button click i can pick up my grass if i want to pick up my sand i can pick up my sand and you can see it's it's, it's switching within uh this inventory slot right here so if i move it over here and i want a different material just scroll over and pick up a different material if i want stone which i've already got i would move it to this and then click over there and now I've got two stones in here. Anyways, to place is just like everything else. You're going to right click to, uh, to destroy and you can just one click at a time. Or you can hold the, uh, the mouse button down and just eat through the blocks. Now I've set the config file up differently and I'll show you that after uh, this little clip here. At the end, I'll show you how to configure the speed at which this destroys the blocks. I wouldn't advise messing with it too much. It's set at 125 when you first install the pack which is faster than what this is um, so basically when i hold the left mouse button down it just obliterates a line of blocks it's really really fast uh just a little bit faster than what i would like uh, so i went into the config file and i set mine up at 200 or 250. again for the right mouse button it's the same thing you can put it back just like this you can either do it one click at a time or you can hold down the right mouse button and let it click away now there are a few glitches and there are some things that are still being worked on in the pack that do not work quite right uh, some of the things is is within a five block radius of you if you try to destroy a block it double it uh, double eats out too if you set a block it sets up too so try to keep everything at least five to seven blocks away if you're setting as you can see the closer it gets it starts to double again that's just a glitch in the pack i've already mentioned that in the forums to them and it's no big deal uh, this is a reach mod so you're not going to be building up in your face most of the time anyways and if you are just toggle it back off do what you have to do in your face and then toggle it back on uh, some of your redstone items do not like to be placed uh, trap doors are not really good levers are not really good buttons are not really good all right so your trap door so you put it on like that, and if you try to use it at a distance, it'll set up on the outside like this, and it starts busting a lot of pieces around it just like that. And if you get up even closer, it <laughs> it'll just it sets really funny, and it just glitches out real bad. Again, it's the same thing with your buttons. Uh, I I wouldn't advise setting any of your redstone devices. Um, with the reach mod on it's just it's it's kind of glitchy right now and hopefully that's not what you're using this for anyways you're using it for mass terraforming and uh and, and things of that nature same thing that i use it for the bone meal does not work at a distance yet i did make a mention of that in the forums to uh zero again it's not it's not a big deal uh but it's nice from the air where you can just go ahead and bone meal things and and decorate from a distance um what else all right there he is implementing a world edit type feature with uh just like world wrapper used to be 
like your single player commands where you can set different things in the world using a wooden spoon <laughs> a wooden shovel rather and a wooden axe I could call it a wooden spoon but anyways you're gonna be using it with a uh, right click option so you're gonna right click and you'll see uh, a, a, a pink block show up and then you're gonna go to your axe and right click again and then you can see there is a selection again just like world edit and then you're gonna uh, tap the T and in this one here you're going to use a hashtag set and then the block ID number so let's say we're going to set it to wood and there's wood and then again uh, whoops shit sorry about that uh, we're going to go T I'm not used to the hashtag yet and then SEL and it gets rid of it so you can see that your selection has changed uh, if you're using reach mod from up in the air and you try to do this um, it'll be within it looks like probably about maybe 10 10 blocks from you, man, probably about five blocks from you. So if you want to make a, a, a floating platform, uh, you can see this is how you would do it. And again, if you just want to get rid of that, SEL. So anyways, that is your Zoms Mod Pack, guys. This is what I get asked about, I don't know how many times <laughs> over the years that I've played Minecraft. Jag, how do you set and place blocks and destroy them from such a far distance? This is how I do it. Uh, it was gone for a long time. Uh, I've been in the forums for quite a while trying to get this uh, put back into the pack and he has put it back in the pack I'm not saying I'm the reason why but I'm hoping maybe um, it's because of me it's back so anyways enjoy this mod guys again there's other light mods what this is compatible with and what it's not I am not recommending to run anything else with it run this as a separate client um, and try other light mods at your own risk again at the end of this here I will clip in how you can go into your config and change up the speed so enjoy the mod guys and I appreciate you watching alright guys so go to your desktop go down to your start bar click on start go to run percent app data percent just like always and go to your dot minecraft and then under mods you're gonna look for light zom and then you're gonna look for the config file you're going to right click and you're going to edit that with notepad plus plus you that's a free download and is what you're going to be looking for up here let me look for it real quick right here range mod destroy delay is set to 125 by default i set mine to 200 so you can just go ahead and highlight it and switch it to whatever you want and then the next one is down just a little bit further right there on uh, line 42 is range mod place delay 200 is what I have my set for again you can play around with those values anything more than that and it starts getting really really slow uh, you can still use it it's a little more controlled uh, but I did play around all the way up to 300 and I do not advise dropping below a hundred uh, anything below that and you're probably gonna crash your game um, just because it's not designed to pick up the ticks that quick um, and he does advise against that in his forum so I wouldn't go I'd leave it at 125 or I would slow it down from there and that is Zom's Mod Pack guys like always I appreciate you watch remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later